still wearing our shirts. This is kind of dope, man. Not having to hold it, and hold the mic. Yeah, it. you just gotta remember. You gotta speak up a little bit. Yeah. I wouldn't. This is about how loud I was talking. So, hey, welcome back, everybody. Oh, Jack yeah, Grice Podcast. We're back again live. I got Andy Dudley. Jack Grice Podcast. Yes, sir. And you know it's February. It's Black History Month. Uh, it may seem like kind of a obscure topic for some of you who view the channel i do appear as a white individual my skin is very lightly complected but i do what do they call African that American you're a, a fair skin fair skin undercover brother you know you've seen the movie yeah you know we'll be talking movie. about movies in this podcast that's part that's of the other one undercover yeah. brother i just wanted y'all to know uh this is coming from a completely respectable standpoint uh, i'm not hating this is not a trying to come at anybody i am african-american and white i got a lot of mixed races in me i'm a mutt but just so you know no disrespect all respect all love black history month what's good is how you doing man to be honest bro i'm doing pretty good i'm feeling good you know it's like i feel like i'm getting all my pieces together personally and Shit's starting to look like an actual picture type of thing. Like, motherfucker is, it's nice. It's nice. I know I kind of, I, I say it a lot. You know, I like to toot my own horn because I feel like I literally came from nothing, doing this shit on a phone, you know, fucking talking about. All right, guys, so what are you talking about? What do you want to talk about? All right, pass the phone around. Pass the phone around. Right. And to, like, where I'm at right now, it's kind of dope to the point where I got almost all my fucking tools set up to the point where I'm like, all right, now I'm going to start buying painting. Now I'm going to start what, focusing on decor. Let's get some fucking lights. We got a couch. Let's do this. All right, you know what? Mics look a little bit better. Let's do that. You know, it's it's nice to see it come through. Yeah, the come up's definitely been strong, man. I do remember when you started and I was like, you know, you inspired me. I was like, man, I've been wanting to do a podcast or something, but I didn't have anybody who was down. Like, when yeah. I when I got my Xbox last year, when mm-hmm. COVID first hit, I was thinking, oh, stream, podcast, this, that, and the other. But everybody was like, nah, I don't even want to be on camera. Oh, but now yeah. then you came, and I was like, bet, yeah, I'm down. Hell yeah, I'm down so, like a yeah, motherfucker. Oh, definitely an inspiration. And, and the setup has been real, man. You, you helped Hell us yeah, come a long way. I mean, and the yeah, mics bro. and the cameras, everything. Nice. I feel like I just feel like you know right now I got the I can do it you know I feel like if I get a good base I can keep my base you know I can th- I feel like this you gotta kind of put a lot in at first but once you get to a certain point of buying and putting shit in you don't you know that shit will last if you take care of it that shit will last you a long ass time and I feel like that's where we're at right now to where we don't gotta worry about the fucking mics or the camera or the lighting or the computer, the wires, shit like that. And yeah. now all it's just time to, are, are yeah, care of. you know, cause I feel like all the podcasts we've been doing before were kind of like dry runs, low practice, budget. Prac- no, not even low budget, but like practice. I feel like almost like one in four podcasts on my end would go smooth. Like, everything would go smooth during the podcast. Then I'd get home, and the fucking camera's flipping. So the podcast isn't the best. You know, it kind of yeah. throws it off. Yeah. Or, the you know, a big problem we've been dealing with is the sound's a little fucked up. You know, yeah. this and that, shit like that. But I feel like we're starting to get to the point where we don't got to worry about that no more. Oh, yeah. And for so, sure. Yeah, we're and, definitely on that. We're yeah. getting to that level, yeah. Instead of having to fucking go like this every five minutes to check on the fucking levels over there in the corner we can be fully engaged yes sir and that's nice that's nice and so what we're gonna engage on tonight y'all black history month it's february you know we live in this country called america you know built on the backs of black irish and chinese slaves you know Say that again. but this this month right now this month this right now is about african-american you know 
We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about some movies, some trivia, have some fun with it. We're not going to be too serious. Keep yeah, it light. It's, only it's the, late night. It's a late it's night. It's a late night. I think it's the second day of February. February. Second, yep. Yeah, still wanted to make sure it wasn't past midnight. So we wasn't yeah. technically the third. You know, yeah, it's the second. You know, it's still uh, Groundhog Day. That's one yeah. thing I forgot. That it was Groundhog's Day. So. Right. You know, six more months of hockey, some people say, in Minnesota. Ah, the hockey, much. The hockey fans, you know. Pretty much. But, uh, and, you know, my, me and my son's birthday are in February, so we're grandfathered really? into Black History Month. Okay. When's your birthday? Uh, I'll be 30 on the 8th. Uh, and my oh, son will be your birthday's three coming on the 10th. up. Yeah, my son will be 3 on the 10th. Any he play? For me, no. For him, uh, not yet. I There's mean, this he's place three. called Grand Slam. He's three. This place called Grand Slam. It's out in Twin Rapids, uh-huh. in a deep park. Like it's cheap. It's literally, whenever we go, we spend twenty three bucks. It's in Wisconsin. No, it's in uh, Twin Rapids. Oh, it's, um, Minnesota. Un- over by Anoka. Not from Minnesota. Yeah. Disclaimer: You might have just found that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. It's up. It's 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 like. Up north 30 by minutes. Like Duluth? 30, or, no, oh, no, it's like 30 far. minutes up. Okay. It's just past Shoreview. Okay. So, um, it's like, you, did you know what the big thrill factory was? Yeah, that one's in like Oakdale, right? Yeah, but that one's shut down. It's closed right now. It's closing down? Yeah. They're not closing down, but it's just closed. closed. Yeah, exactly. But the the Grand Slam's still open. Oh, okay. And that one's nice. They got, uh, we spend like 23 bucks when we go there. We get twenty dollars on an arcade card and pay three dollars for him to do the uh the it's like a jungle gym. Have you, you know? been since like the COVID? Yeah, I just went last week. Does your boy have to wear a mask? You don't have to. You oh. have to, but he don't. Right, because I can't yeah. get him. He 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 doesn't keep it. Most you most try things to put in all the exactly. And he's like, nope. Most things you you the parent you know the you you see every parent putting it on the kid and then the kid will run around and then they'll come up to the parent and be like here. And then you're like, okay, all right, go. Right, because my son's kind of not like keeping it. You don't have shit. to. You he, don't have he, to. You know, he ain't yeah, keep, they're not like, keeping it on. Bro. Exactly. They're too young. Like, okay, my seven year old, she'll keep it on because she's like, better. Or like they got batting cages yeah. and shit. They don't, like the kids don't got them out in batting cages or like the darn laser tag and sh- they got yeah. a laser tag. They got a. Well, you know, he's three, so he'd yeah. love the jungle gym. Like, where you yeah, come the jungle gym. Slides, exactly. You, know, you climb and up, shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, like a, a bounce house and shit. And then, um, what else? The arcade. The arcade's lit. Right. Twenty dollars. We were there for like three hours. I mean, like twenty dollars worth worth of per person or what? No, a, a car. Total? You you pay uh, so you get a car. You only pay for the kid. You only pay for the kid. Oh, three dollars okay. for the kid for the jungle gym. The jungle yeah. gym thing. That's the. That's cheap. Yeah. It's two jungle gyms. It's two big like climb like you climb up, you go down a big ass slide. You can go all around play with stuff. They got punching bags. And then there's another one for like little kids, oh, like right. maybe one and under. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a uh, um, bounce house. Yeah. And that's three dollars a kid for an hour, but cheap. That's cheap. You pay once and you're kind of there. That's cheap. Yeah. yeah. It was either that we're thinking either that or maybe Sky Zone if they're still open. We haven't looked to see if Sky Zone's open, but my yeah. son loves Sky Zone, Ocean Lodge. There's a place called Urban Urban Air. It's like ten dollars cheaper, but you might have to spend that ten dollars in gas. It's up the street from Grand Slam. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's over by where I used to live. That's why I know about these places. And it's got the big trampoline. Yeah, and it's all that. just like it, but a little bit better. They got like more uh, ninjins. Yeah, like the obstacle courses yeah. and shit, like like uh, like American Ninja Warriors type stuff. I'm not even gonna lie though, but uh, Urban Air is kind of more for. Uh, you know, yeah. it's a lot of the cool flips and you know that type of shit. Yeah, because Sky Zone, you're not technically allowed to do flips because exactly. there are young kids. You don't know if they're on exactly. every trampoline running around and exactly. there's dodgeball, yeah. trampoline dodgeball. They got yeah. American. There's all that. There's. It's pretty much the same. Sh- it's the same stuff, but it it's the same exact thing. But how I would compare it would be Urban Air would be like. Where you would want to go if you were like a 13 year old boy. Like middle school, high school. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, co- Urban Air compared to there, you'd be like, Mom, let's go to Urban Air. Right. You know, Urban Air is, it's, it's cooler. You right. know, it's fucking, it's Healy's compared to Skechers. Yeah. <laughs> but no, fuck. I feel you. But no, we're thinking about doing something like that. Um, 
Yeah. But you know, it's Black History Month. Let's get so into that. These topics we're gonna talk about, you know, what do you gotta you said it earlier, what do you gotta know to be black? Or? Yeah, what do you gotta know to be black, pretty much. It's something <laughs> like like if they handed you a handbook at like six years old, you gotta study this and at eighteen you know how to test. We wanna talk about like pop sorry, pop culture things. So we're gonna start off with movies. Like we're gonna talk about movies all black people know. Like if you black and you over the age of I say like seventeen, you supposed to know these movies by now. Well how old are you again? I'm twenty four. So you think a seventeen year old from so a seventeen year old if you're twenty four is seven years younger. Yep. You think they should know the same movies as us? Yep, because they should have been taught these movies. I think I think what is it? Every seven to every seven to fourteen years is a generation. Is pretty that much. what it is? Pretty much, because I mean, like the way we're advancing nowadays, like between from the nineties to the two thousands, that was a generation. That was huge. I mean, the way we advanced, that was in the way I people feel like learned. The end of that the, was a generation oh yeah. right there. I feel like the generation low key ended at like ninety four to ninety six. Right. Is when, you know, you could do the cutoff. Right. You know, I like to say 96 because that's when I was born and I feel like I'm a 90s baby. Yeah. I personally do. But, uh. Well, I always say, like my, my cousin say, shout out my cousin. Uh, he, he would say, fuck an 80s baby, I'm a 90s kid. Because, you know, you got 80s babies, that was real popular. But they so, were 80s, 90s kids as you were born in the 80s, but you were a kid in the 90s. Well, yeah, and I was born in 91, so I grew, we were up, a kid. grew up in the mm-hmm. 90s. Yeah, I was like... Like, I'm not even lying. I was a kid at the, you know... As soon as From the 99, 2000. Yeah, like, as soon you know, as... Because you that's were four what, when 2000. That's what, like, I remember. Yeah. Like, my first, like, music that I remember is fucking The High Boys, fucking Juvenile, and Lil yeah. Wayne, and them. Fucking... Girl, it looks good once you back at it. <laughs> Daddy, I like this video. Yeah, I bet. I bet you do. But, um... Fuck, let's get into some some Yeah, good what do you got to know to be black? Uh, how about a music video? Just since we talked about music just for a second. One well, music video like you got to know to be black, in my opinion, is Pitbull. Yeah. You know yeah. that video? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Have you seen the Uncensored one? Have you seen young, the one? Huh, yeah. Have you seen <laughs> if any of the young people out there if haven't you don't seen know Tip about Drill or Tip don't Drill. know... Now you know to go YouTube go look it, Tip Drill and up. you will be surprised. Make sure you on incognito though. That was you. That, that was BT on cut. On cut. Two o'clock in the Two morning. Two o'clock in the morning. When you're up and not supposed to be up, just flipping through. Tip Drill. Oh, oh my God! Where is this? God. Hands, oh. Lucy popping on a handstand. What? Hold on, hold on. Mute. Dad. <laughs> what is this? This is what they do. This is what they do. What's the, mom? What's pussy popping on a handstand? Or I feel like another one so would that's be. That's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Go ask your mama. Yeah. Go ask your that's, mama what that is. How do you is. think you got here, man? You know, that's probably what my. You were asking what the fuck, how babies were born. There you go, bud. But no, I feel like another one would be. Uh, what's the fucking? Uh, I think it's Wuha. I think that's the name of it by Busta. Oh when yeah. When he's fucking in the aluminum that and foil. Patrick Kibasi, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like Patrick Kibasi is the one for sure. That's a good one. So or, movies, let's go in the movies though. That's that's, okay. that's the music videos. That's just the one shout out for the the music videos for the young blood. I ain't even gonna lie, the '90s music videos was the shit. Like BT Uncut, bro, you couldn't bro, beat that. Couldn't that was beat like that. that was before Skinamax. That was before Skinamax, bro. If you needed to get your rocks off and you didn't have access <laughs> to fucking Skinamax, ah, don't let no too short come on. BT Uncut. Shit, but movies you talking about? Yeah. I feel like it's the first one that pops up. First one that pops up, like, you got to know, I feel like, because I'm looking up on the blue light, Belly. Belly pops in my head. That's a rough movie, too. Yeah, that's that's a, like an that's old, a, that's like. That's a good movie. That's got some footage in there that, that has a lot of controversy around, too, yeah. like conspiracy around it. Yeah. You know, that that's one of the that videos. Was, they let someone with a, with an actual story tell some shit. Yeah, that's like, that's like underground. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, it's underground. It used to be popular back when it came out. I, I don't know when it came out. Probably 90s, early 2000s, yeah. late 90s. Yeah, it's an older movie. That's Somewhere around there. It's older. It's probably 20 years old. Um, yeah, for sure. But it's like, 
if you haven't seen it, it's definitely like a good movie to go mm-hmm. check out for sure. That's yeah. one of them gangster movies. I feel like that's what that's a hood classic. That's a hood movie. Yeah, that's like in Scarface. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you know, for, like for, for Black hood. History Month. Yeah. Um, so what comes to my mind is a couple of them. Uh, one of them's Redemption. Okay. I thought that was a really good one. They played. Uh, they did a story. They had Jamie Fox in it, mm-hmm. and they did the Stanley uh, Stanley Tookie Williams story. That's the when uh, he's in prison. Yeah, Jamie Fox yeah, is in yeah, prison. Yeah, he starts yeah. writing books. Yeah. He gets swole. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was a he was a gangster. He yeah. was like a ruthless in the streets gangster. But then he he caused a lot of reform. <laughs> <coughs> he caused a lot of reform within uh, within the gang community. Because he was like, bro, this is not what you want to do with your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, this prison life ain't it. This shit sucks. Um, so Come it was, it was a really inspirational, really good video, good movie to watch yeah. and check out. You know, for young, you know, black men, young men in general, yeah. young men in general, like, like watch it. You know, check that's, that you, out. You know, that's free something. game. Yeah. Or another one. Uh, you remember what I? I believe it's called Hurricane. It was about the boxer. He was like a heavyweight champ. He went to jail on some bullshit. Some bullshit. I I think it was. Let me. I'm finna look up Hurricane. I'm pretty sure that's the fucking. Yeah, cause I don't know if I've seen that. It's a hurricane. Yeah. The mic didn't pick up the chip shot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> With Denzel. The hurricane? Yeah, the hurricane. Denzel. That's a good one. When did movie. that come out? 99. That's a really fucking good movie. The yeah, hurricane. I haven't seen that yet. That was like right around he was doing uh, Bone Collector. He mm. did that. Yeah, that was, a good, that was a good TV show. A lot of people watch that. I haven't seen it. I didn't watch the TV show. I did watch the movie though, but I haven't seen the TV show. Actually, the TV show, I don't know if it had Denzel in it. No, because TV show didn't have Denzel. It was a new TV show. Mm-hmm. It was around the same time they made the movie, I think, and I think they made the TV show after. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, the Hurricane man, he's a boxer. That shit was. That's a good book called Gunfire. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, those those boxing movies, like even um, damn, there's another one. One of the young kids got killed in it. It was a boxing movie, and they were in the hood in the boxing gym. Black coach. Um, don't know if the boxer was black or white. Oh, no, it was not. I mean, it's not really. That's not really the black kid. That's so I gotta movie, leave that out. Yeah, I gotta that's, leave that's a good movie. Also, Paul. Real good movie. Um, or you know, throwback. of course, you know we gotta mention the classics. Friday. Friday, of course. All the Fridays. Uh, don't oh. be a menace in South Central. Or Menace yeah. Society. Sorry, Both I keep of them. messing that up. Both or, of them. Oh, yeah. Don't be a menace drinking Jamba Juice in fucking California somewhere. Whatever the fuck yeah. that movie is called. God damn, Marlon, or Wayne's Bros. They Get fucking you laughing, hilarious. bro. Get you laughing. And or, there's another one. Uh, back in that time? Yeah. Menace like, Society. That's with Kane and O'Dog. What's the one with fucking um, OG Baba Johnson? OG Baba Bobby Johnson. That's not Bobby. Bet that's the one I was thinking of. Let me see. It's like South Central. Or it's you like know, you got American History X too. Yeah, that's you good know one. for Black History Month. That's a good one. Um. Oh, you know we didn't. Touch I feel on like it. hold on. Uh, I feel like that's a good white movie for Black History Month. Why do you figure that? Because American History X is a white movie. That's a, it's a, it's the, it's the opposite side of the usual black movie, the usual prison. But wasn't that about Malcolm X? Which one? American History X. Wasn't that? No, that's the one with Edward Newton. Edward Norton. Norton, yeah, and he fucking curb stomps the dude's head. It's in black and white for. The whole fucking movie is just about a racist guy who fucking, you know what I'm saying? I thought that was called Malcolm X. What was the Malcolm X movie? Malcolm X. Oh, it's just called Malcolm X. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. real simple. That's why I'm Keep getting messed up. That's, why, simple, I, that's yeah. why I'm getting, I get, I get the those X, titles flipped. American up. History X is a good movie. Okay. That's a really good movie. 
That's um, funny. But uh, what's the um, what's the fucking one? It's called. Hold on. Because then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a segue back into what he let know to be black because we didn't even start that. We talked about it, but we didn't get into any, any topic about it. Yeah. It's an old kid movie. I can't fucking remember the name of it. With Snoop? No, it's like old 70s. Oh. There's a bunch of old kid 70s movies. They didn't even touch it on, bro. Like, uh... I can't even think. We got Warriors. You know, because that's about the New Yorker. Warriors. Come out and play. That fucking black dude in that <laughs> game is shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> fucking uh, what was what's the Ike and Tina movie? The one with Lawrence Fishburne and uh, oh, great Lawrence. actor Lawrence Fishburne, great yeah, actor. The fucking meme where underrated slap the fuck out of you. That's a great movie. Uh, Juice, Juice. That's, that's an one. amazing movie. Poetic Justice. There you that's go. That's another good one. Those are good titles. Oh uh, man. I'm fucking reeling them off now. Let me think. Uh, Boomerang with Eddie Murphy. That's a good one. I didn't see that one, but when Fuck you said it. Boomerang, I thought of Pootie Tang. Pootie Tang, for If y'all ain't seen Pootie Tang. Pootie Tang. Water Tower. Water Tower. Water Tower. Whip your ass, man. Side Tower, Water Tower. Huh? What? What? That shit in his fucking hair. Yeah. Fucking. Fucking blocking bullets and shit. Like, get the fuck. Who do you think that shit? Yeah, yeah. Or fucking Django. Oh, man. One of my favorite movies. You know, I went and bought that movie on YouTube just to find out it was on Netflix. <laughs> and I paid for Netflix. <laughs> just like, dude. I could have been watching it this whole time on Netflix, but I, went, but I own it now. I own it. You know, because, you yeah. know, Quentin Tarantino is my guy when it comes to making movies. Fuck and he yeah. did a real good job with Django. Real good job. I feel like Pulp Fiction is a black movie. Mm-hmm. That's a movie that black people love. Like The Godfather, you know, it ain't really about black people, but that's a black people movie. Like The Good Fellas, Fellas, Good Fellas. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can feel you when you say that about Pulp Fiction, because mm-hmm. I can see it in there, but it's hard for me to understand when you say Good Fellas, The Godfather. Because we just love the fucking Italian mob shit, bro. All black people, I'm telling you, you, you talk to any older black person, like your age or older, and you talk to them about the good fellas. You talk to them about well, yeah, fucking I mean, my the old school. Big on it. My they big love on those it. movies, bro. They love them. And another weird thing a lot of like older black women like is fucking Elvis movies. Hmm. I don't know the why. King of Rock. The King of Rock. I remember well, I mean, watching Jail. He, he I remember watching cool Jailhouse Rocks. Yeah. yeah, he stole that. Sh- they say he stole uh, a lot of their vibe and rhythm. Yeah, because yeah, he got he it stole they whole they whole little walk. Yeah. And they brought it over to the white land, and they were like, oh, I like that. That, that what they be doing over there? It's yeah. better when you do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> All them movies, man. Then okay. you got Michael came out and put them in, put them in the dirt. Yeah. Michael came out, King Pop, rest King in peace, Pop. Michael Jackson, man, because he came out and he stole it from Elvis. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, because... Elvis was still around when he was when when they Michael you know they were still alive mm-hmm. they was you know they was alive together at the same time yeah. like when Mike I feel like Elvis was alive when Michael passed them type shit yeah and that tells you a lot because it was he was just young right well Mike Mike's been a pro he was a prodigy from day one yeah like I'll go back and listen to his old tracks when he was a kid dude his yeah, voice amazing. perfect perfect it's like it gives did me he get, did he get worse it's like it got worse the older he got. Ooh, but it was aspect, great. Like certain like, certain songs, like yeah, holy weren't, shit. weren't hitting. But other holy songs, shit. and his older like age, other songs best, like still hit. Yeah, he had his best songs, but like yeah. his his voice is like when he's younger, it's like fuck. That was the voice, though. Yeah, that was that was the yeah. voice of the century. It's like, like just like when Justin years. Bieber was young. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Bieber can touch on Michael because Michael's voice, bro. Nah, I, like I say, like when, when I he listen was to young, that music, dude, I get tingles, bro. When, like when they was young, bro, up. when I'm telling you, when they was young, they had the same effect, bro. Justin Bieber was the Michael Jackson until he fell off. He you don't think off. that? I, I feel like maybe Chris Brown may have had that. No, nah, he beat on Rihanna and lost that. Before he beat on her, his voice was yeah, fucking epic. You ain't wrong. I mean, 
Hey, you. I just want, when I see her, you know, yeah. I want to say, yo, girl. Said, excuse me, miss. I saw you from across, across the, the room. room. Yeah, I mean, yeah. come on, yeah. man. Young Chris yeah. Brown. Before, before the Beyonce scandal. Yeah, I yeah. feel you. From wall to wall. Oh, I feel like, I feel like, because she was my generation, because I really didn't get into music. Yeah. To be honest, I really didn't. But you ain't um, wrong. I feel like Chris, Chris would be the better. Young Chris. Yeah, yeah. Chris would be the better. Because yeah. he had the voice. When he was doing his first come up, his voice was Sweet. fucking on point. Sorry, guys. I'm pyromaniac. Yeah, we're getting My there. Bad. Um, so, <laughs> another thing we had to touch on, uh, what do you got to know to be black? So, what do you okay. got to know? I mean, because I got a couple of them. One thing can, you got to know, gotta know, one thing you got to know to be black, if your mama and daddy ain't at the motherfucking house, I don't care who knock on the door, you better not answer. Don't answer. You better not answer. No, sir. You better not Answer it. I don't care if it's the police. I don't care if it's God, Grandma. If you don't hear from me, if yeah, I don't, I if I, mm, my mom would not. Oh, my really? mom would be like, if I don't call you uh-huh. and say it's okay, or if you'd be like, hey, Grandma talked back, can I let her in? Yeah, go ahead, let her in. Go ahead, let her in. But yeah, that, yeah. I mean, that's that's a little new shit. Yeah. Don't fuck. I mean, I'm I'm down nobody dog. else, but I mean, if grandma shows up, that's kind of like that hit or miss subject. Like, that's grandma. That's gra- exactly. But she then, then come up here and but then, some there, shit was, up. there was some time that like mom and granny was beefing. You know, they was beefing, and granny was came and was like, you know, you fucking left the kids by yourself at home. Woo woo woo. But you know, fucking older sisters like ten, I'm like eight, about to be nine. You know, we we cool. Grandma, mom, mom's going to the store. We be, we be all right. Yeah. You know, my grandma, fucking my little sister opens the door and she comes in. What the fuck? My mom, don't fucking hear me. Dude, one I'll thing I'll say, fucking dude. Shit. One thing I'll say is my boy at work, man. I, you know, sometimes I'll go to Kowalski's next door and get some yeah. chicken wings because they got a hot bar. Don't hate on Kowalski's yeah. till you've been there. They got a hot food bar in, in the deli. And they got some flame chicken wings. They they do, but it's a little. It's Kowalski's it's though. It's pricey. Kowalski's is like Whole Foods. Uh, no, dude, I'm telling you, like I'm telling you, Whole you go to a Foods. Cub and get some wings from Cub, or you go to Cub. Did, hold on, hold on. Where we're at, the Cub we're by, you can't say shit. Yeah, that yeah. Cub, the Cub we're by, is on point with everything. You ain't bro. been to Kowalski's. Have you I been haven't. to Kowalski's? Not to this That's one. That's what I'm saying. Not though. to this one. Not to That's this one. That's what I'm saying, bro. Their <laughs> wings are putting one. Cubs wings to shame. Okay, so my I got some wings for lunch. Yeah. And he saw me eat them. And he saw my boy who also got wings from there. We got them at the same time. We came back. He's he's a white kid from a white family. And my boy came from a foster home with a lot of brothers and a lot of yeah. other people. A lot of mixed races, right? Mm-hmm. And he was like, Dude, chicken wings are the back there. So I was like, what are you saying? He was like, them are the gristle. I said, chew on them. <laughs> I, I, hold on, dry. hold on. I hear Bones you dry. chewing your fucking chicken yeah, wings. All and, I hear and, is... Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, so I got the whole bone in my mouth. I'm just, you know, chewing on it. And and he's like, dude, you, you're you from the hood. And I was like, damn. damn. And, and, and and my my other homie, you know, who works with me, you know, he's an all-white kid from white mm-hmm. family. You know, he's just... Picking at it, you know, you know, picking around the gristle and the veins, and then he throws it away yeah. with meat on it. I'm like meat and gristle and skin. And I'm and like, like dude, bro, bro, why you wasting? And me and Cody were sitting, me and my boy were sitting there, like, dude, why are you wasting the wings? Yeah, why'd you even buy wings? Why'd you even buy them if you didn't want? You want a fork and a so, knife? <laughs> one of those things you got to know to be black is you do not waste food. You don't waste yeah. the chicken wings, the gizzards, the fucking mm-hmm. the pork skins. The ant- you don't waste none of that yeah. shit. The Hosmont Cogs greens, you you cleaning your plate because that's all you're getting. Uh-huh. So you know, I'm sitting there just mounting on my shit. And he's like, dude, you're from the fucking that's that's some hood Hell shit yeah, right there. Because my bones are lying. dry, dude. I'm fucking sucking them shits you dry before they go in the fridge. Or another one is <laughs> if you live in a in, in a house like in a black family or maybe you got a bunch of black roommates and you know you live in a house with a bunch of black people. Tell me this ain't wrong. I ain't doing the dishes I did them last time. Story of my life, bro. <laughs> Tell me that's wrong. I'm not doing the dishes I did them last time. Last time? You mean like last month? No, like, bro, last time the dishes needed to be done, bro, I did them, bro. 
I'm not doing them. I'm not touching the dishes. And and they'll say that. And and you can say that till everyone does the dishes again in the house. Yeah. And then you'd be like, all right, I'll do the dishes. Yeah. I'll do no, you know what? I got don't it. Even worry I got about it. it. Don't even worry about it. And there'd be it. like five dishes and then you got to, yeah. you know, when you live with roommates and live with a family, you got to, you got to, you got to be smart. You see like half a sink full of dishes. Yeah, you got to play that you game. Got, you got to hop in and game. do a sink, sink full of dishes and you'd be like, mama. You want anything to eat? I'm doing some dishes. You know, I can cook you something real quick. You know, I just figured I'd do the dishes and cook you something to eat. You want anything to eat? No, I'm fine, honey. I'm fine. I got to go to work. Okay. All right. You have a good day at work, mom. You know, boom, bam. And and she think you did a whole sink full of dishes. Ten hours later. Real life, you did. You really washed full bowls, a cup, and a plate. Whole strainer's full. I don't know where to right. put the rest of them. I can't. I don't, they don't do it. I'm they waiting on them to dry. They dry. They dry. Oh, that pot is soaking. <laughs> they dry. That's the, that's the one in my house that used to get you touched the fuck out. Yeah, when you why just leave fuck? it in there full of water. And so why, the fuck, why the fuck you leave the pot on the sink? Ma! Ma, what you mean, ma? It's soaking. You know it's got to soak overnight. It's <laughs> I can't do it. I got a whole bar. I got a whole bar. I can't or, do it or, right now. Ma, I got to pee. I got to pee. The that was water my running, you shit. know, it's hot that on was, my hands. I got to go to the bathroom. That was my bathroom break. sister shit. That was Commercial. my sister shit, bro. Ray Ray? No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew it was Ray yeah. Ray. I already knew it was Or, Ray. like, why do, why do teenage out. girls... My bad, Ray. Why do teenage <laughs> girls do dishes so loud and violently? Oh, just to let you know they're in there. <laughs> they got to let you know, man. I already know, dude. Like, like my, well, my sister... Like, you know, cause yo. My sister, my older sister... She she hails from the same father I do. She's got African American in her blood. She would go when crazy. When she do the dishes, that's all you hear. Clink clink clash. Shame. Door slam. Blah. Doom. Ding dow. Pew. It's like, it's like Batman's in there beating someone up. I'm like. in there playing Sega Sonic. Uh, she's doing the dishes. <laughs> Oh, I already I, did dishes oh, like three weeks ago. You must be able to do the. Yeah, yeah, it's not your turn yet. Ain't my ain't my problem. Come in my room. Turn the fucking game off. What are you doing? You're a piece of shit. You need to do the dishes. I was like, you doing the dishes. I, they're all clean, right? Right. No, they're all broken. <laughs> <laughs> right? In the they're trash. You go broken. back in there. There's trash like cans full of plates. plates. Like, what the okay, fuck? What I are you doing? All right. There's like 10, you know, 10 clean plates yeah. and five broken plates. Yeah. All right. I'll That'd be that. my, my sister. Or sorry. I, someone I grew up with. I'm, no, <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. My sister is fucking notorious for, oh, uh, that's too nasty. Throw it away. In the trash. And it'd be, and it'll be like, and it'll be like a bowl with the silverware inside of the bowl and just like. Whole thing. And it'll be like, like, yeah, it's nasty. It might be like some oatmeal that's been there, you know. For a couple of days, and yeah, it's nasty, but fuck, put some water, you know, put some water in there, let it soak overnight. Pad. You know, have SOS pad, exactly. Out of Scrape there. all that shit out. Out of there. Quick. But if foam back in the day, you with the little blue ones, yeah, the blue squares, square oh, circles. I hate them motherfuckers. I, they work good. They work they good. They work so good. They work, but it's something about the texture yeah. and the sound. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, it, like going the old across. Heads, the old heads, the old heads oh. will tell you, bro, like, I mean, that's how oh. you know you got them, you got them hands, man. The slave oh, hands, slave that. feet, bro. Like, you got that tough leather skin. That shit don't die. Bro. Oh, shit. No, it's not. It's like it's like the sound. It's like it's the, nails on a chalk. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, and I then, know it's I know it's rough, man. But that's like you talk to the old heads. You gotta have SOS. Give me a fucking give me a another thing. You gotta go to be black. You need to have some SOS pads or in your house. or a fucking uh, steel wool. Yeah, one or the sure, other. Yeah. One or the other. Steel wool just doesn't set up. Exactly. SOS pads got the set. Steel wools for them uh, pots that you've been soaking over there for a couple days. Soaking pots. <laughs> You know, You're you don't. Soaking, Ma. You don't want to fuck up your good scrubbies, so you use the motherfucking shits. Or yeah, here, yeah. here's another thing. Or uh, let me think of another thing. Yeah, because I went straight in the kitchen. <laughs> straight another, to the kitchen. Another thing that you gotta know to be black is I feel like one thing. Man, you better not be drinking all the milk. 
I know you're not drinking the last fucking no, no, half of I was, milk. It's funny because I was just going to say, I was just going to say one thing. I got to know one thing I always did. Me, I always did this. I was the one always getting the fucking two liter <laughs> thrown at me, bro. Constantly. I'm never drinking the last of. Don't ever drink the last bit. That's I'm right. talking That's about. I will you. leave. I will leave. Fucking bare, like like barely, barely anything in here, and put it back in the oh, fridge. That guy. And put it back, put in, it the back fridge, in the bro. fridge, bro. No, yeah, I'm, I can't drink no. this because my mom would be like, "You better out of everything good." Like, say we get some juice, save me some. You know, she's like, "I'm the one who kills it. I bought it." My money, I get the last, you know, the last fucking last little bit of chips. I'd leave a little, you know, a little bit. I'd roll it up that looks like it's a lot and I'd put it back in there and shit, <laughs> shit like that. No, and I feel you like you can't be doing that. Shit. I feel that's like all, all, but all, all like that's something a lot of black people do, like the, the fucking younger ones. It's something a lot of the younger black people do, like the little brothers. Or yeah, because you sisters. already grew up knowing you don't do that. And I, you know, I grew up. I fucking I did. grew up in the I hood, but I, the I had time, a white my, black mom. Like, my mom would constantly hood. chuck fucking two liters at me, bro. Oh, how about this? You finish the Kool Aid, you better refill it. Yeah. You don't leave it empty yeah. because okay, we yeah. had the we had the plastic yeah. fucking jug mm-hmm. with the strainer lid, you know, exactly. Full shit in the whisk. Fucking if you if, if you, you drink the last if you of it. Drink it do not put it back in the fridge empty because you're in trouble. And, like, you know, so we had challenges, like, where I'm from, because obviously I have dual whites. Yeah. So when I, every time I'd move and have to meet new people, they're all brothers and sisters. You know, I, I went yeah. to my mom's low income. We went to low income housing. We were grandfathered in. Exactly. You know, we went to the hood where they forced a lot of people because, you know, what they did, the government, you know, this is a little serious topic, and I'll throw some humor in there. Like, a little serious topic is they bought out a lot of the suburbs. The government bought out a lot of suburbs, and if a black family want, was living there, they were, like, saying, hey, man, we'll give you this, this, and this. You need to go move over here. And they would shift the, African-American the families. They would shift African-American families over into these developments, developments, projects. Right, yeah. and they shift them over there, and then they start running drugs through the thing and, and di- corrupting everything. So, okay, yeah. you know, a little backstory on the hood, from my opinion, because I I believe in that. I believe that's a true that's story. True it's spot, a conspiracy. They say it's conspiracy, but that's I believe that's not a true conspiracy, story. bro. When fucking FBI agents and fucking come knocking, and they're like, "Hey, man, no, I just need you when to." When they come out and said that shit's happened, that shit's no longer conspiracy, bro. Okay. So, I mean, I just, I didn't know how touchy yeah. it was, so I just wanted to make sure I was on common ground. Every so, you know, time. you know, me showing up there, they're like, white dude doing here, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So, we'd have Kool-Aid competitions, you know, that was our <laughs> shit, to prove my, yeah. to prove like, my, hey, my Hey, color. motherfucker, can you make some Kool-Aid? Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, because I've been there. waiting. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, dude, we're in there smoking fucking mids, you know, sometimes yeah. it's oregano because we're young, like fucking 12, 13 years old. And, um, you know, I only bought oregano once, and I found out the hard way. But anyways. How'd that feel? Not good. No. It was, it was a low moment in my young development. But anyways, <laughs> you know, we're in there smoking the mids, getting yeah. out, tripping off the mids, and they're like, man, it's third. You know, you get to cob mouth. You've been smoking fucking swishers all day. Out of, you know, even out of pop can do. We had Coke cans, pop bottles with the foil in it. So you're getting dry-ass yeah, mouth throwing up. Oh, yeah. So... Smoking out whatever you can, because we can't just go buy yeah. swishers. We're too young. So, and they're just getting faded, and they're like, "Bro, you got some Kool Aid?" Motherfucker, yeah, I got some Kool Aid. They're like, "No, you ain't got no fucking Kool Aid, dog." Shut you your know, white ass up, bro. How many packs? Bro. How many how packs pack of berry? It? How many packs of strawberry? <laughs> how much sugar? <laughs> What'd you do? What'd What's, you do? You know, What's the combination? Into, What's your fucking formula? Then you're getting into chemistry. <laughs> this is breaking Ravioli, bad Ravioli. before Breaking Bad was Breaking Bad. Give me bro. your formula. Yeah. Yeah, and then, bro. so I'm sitting in there like fucking Krusty Krab. And, you know, these guys like planks. I'm like, What's the secret formula? And I'm yeah. like, I'll mix it up, pour it in there, put the ice in the cup, pour it over ice. It's all crackling. I think so. Hey, bad. try that. Try that, dude. Put your finger. 
some fire ass Kool Aid. Yeah. Okay. I. Okay. I. Right. He might okay. be black. Okay. He might be black. All right. We just got to go over his house one time to, to confirm. Yeah. Can he do it when we're not looking? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> That yeah. type shit. So yeah, no, I earned my stripes. You know, I earned my stripes. That's so. funny. That's funny as hell, bro. Yeah. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> hell yeah, man. I feel like everybody. One thing. You know, growing up, you talking about going through your, your progression as a stoner, type shit. I feel like those, those old days, bro. I miss it, bro. Like you get fucking, you you pay seventy dollars, you get a hundred fucking 14 grams of some straight up Reginald but it was the best shit fucking going. Reagan like some Ronald Reagan some fucking Reggie bro some straight up tripping off the mids fucking tripping that shit's red bro your fucking mids are like this green and red bro yeah no no orange and this is that Jamaican gold mine yeah like no I'm the red shit. hair that yeah. rot yeah, that shit's trash, bro. But, but you don't you, they don't know fuck, about that bro. rot, man. That's the Indiana stuff. Hell yeah, bro. You don't know about it. And then you just sit there and you get the flow. You just flow, bro. I'm talking about caddies. Fucking one in, 1. 1.5 in a blunt. Sometimes we just dip them blowing. shits in rubber bands. Uh, <laughs> Syrup blends. Uh, we would do it in Hennessy. Yeah. We would put a little honey in there. Because mm-hmm. when you put the honey in on top of the weed before you roll it, the honey soaks up the robo. So then you dip it in the robo, let the whole pack, you got a whole five pack in on the cardboard box. Yeah. You ever buy a five pack of switches yeah. in a cardboard box mm-hmm. with the foil wrap? Yeah. So you get them, break your $70 ounce down. Yeah. Put all in there, a little drizzle of honey, wrap it up, slap it in the robo, let it dry. And when the sun rises, you go to school, skip school halfway through. Go back home, start stacking up. Do those blunts. You go. You watch a family. You you because we watch Family Guy. Yeah. You go to Sparkle. Sit there watching Family Guy. That shit stacked up. You pass it. Three episodes later. Yeah, I wasn't that good. I thought he was gonna strike the other bitch. This shit slipped. Fucking halfway. Three episodes deep. Hour and a half long. Man, he's like, smoking. Yeah. And you gotta go test him. You know that shit takes hard too. No, with the honey though. With the honey and the Reggie, honey Reggie Swisher. Honey Reggie Swisher. So, so you're saying if I want to recreate this, I gotta don't do it with no dro. You gotta get the you gotta get the Reggie. You gotta hit my man's up like, hey, don't, give me yeah, your do worst not, do shit. Not bro. Put, do not put. Honey give me the shit we give the annoying bro. niggas. Yeah. You funny. <laughs> so yeah, that's disclaimer, that's kids. Don't do drugs. Don't do this at home. But that's if you true. do it, record it and send it to me. <laughs> We'll put a reaction video out. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> funny as hell, but no, nah, that's funny. Anything else? What other fucking movies or things you got to know to be black? Man, another thing you had to know is fashion. You had to know how to dress. Yeah. Based on where you're at, you got to know how to dress. Yeah, man. Growing up where I grew up, okay, so you had Whiteley, you had Crosstown, you had Southern Pines, which is South Side, mm. and then you had... Uh, Northside. Okay. Northside, Whiteley, Crosstown, Southern Pines. Yeah. Northside. So you have these four boroughs. Every, a lot of places are just separated into four districts, Northeast, South, and West. That's how it works. I feel like it's that almost in every big city. Yeah. And it, 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 it's not really even a big city. It's actually a small town, but we still were segregated like yeah. that. And you knew you had to know how to dress and what bus to catch. Because mm-hmm. where, where I'm from, we caught the city bus. You didn't drive. You didn't. I mean, you caught the bus. Exactly. You're a kid. That's what kids do. So, yeah, and, you know, it's free for students. So, you know, you're in school. You just ride the bus. You just hop on and go where you need to go. Exactly. But if you're going from Morningside to Whiteley, you need to dress appropriately. You can't be wearing red and black from Morningside going to Whiteley. You need to switch over to blue and white. Otherwise, you're going to be a problem. They're going to look at you like, so mm-hmm. you got the bus over here to meet up with dude, and dude's dressed in blue and white, but you got black and red. What the, what fuck? the fuck is you doing? Yeah. What are you doing here? So dressing appropriately was a big deal mm-hmm. from where I'm from in the hood growing up. These are things you need to know if you're black. Yeah. And I was a white dude in a, in a predominantly black area. You know, but I, I am, you know, I'm an undercover brother. Mm-hmm. So I had to announce yeah. myself. 
But you know, you I got you always had a park times, with I got beat up a few times. You know, yeah. there's I had to learn the hard way, and I was like, all right, I'm catching that bus. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm prepared. You know, I'm gonna have this outfit on. I'm gonna have another one in my backpack. Change fits on the bus. Nobody cares. Exactly. You're on the mix bus. Nobody no one, cares. They, that's not the weirdest thing happening on the bus right now. It ain't. It ain't. You got motherfuckers smoking crack, exactly. sipping their bottles, fucking punching out windows, doing crazy shit. Mm-hmm. So the buses are always fun. Especially your fashion happens. is a statement. Yeah. If you, you know, things we know to be black, depending on where you live, you need to dress accordingly. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. I feel like for for like when it comes to that, for my from when I grew up, that really wasn't a. Like, don't get me wrong, you could you would run into Well, somebody. yeah, that was a little bit before yeah. your time. I'm, yeah, don't, I got, like, six years on. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, you could run into a motherfucker and be like, hey, what up, cuz? What, what the fuck you got on there? You know, you run it. But most of the time, it was, like, Facebook. Just because we had the internet. You know, we had Facebook. Yeah. You know, it'd be like, hey, ain't you? Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't this, ain't this you right here? Yeah, come here. We on your ass type shit. That's how motherfuckers would know you. Yeah. by your face but See, um, I didn't I didn't have that. Yeah. We didn't have cell phones. Yeah, but one Not thing yet. one thing I experienced when we talk about fashion is it like like the the hood, the the black fashion is totally different than like how I grew up. Like the white fashion, I feel like. Well, yeah, there's a distinction there's it's, a distinct it's difference. totally like cuz cuz I remember in high school my uh my freshman year, I went, I was in, like, half my freshman year, I was in, uh, was it my freshman or my sophomore year? Yeah, my freshman, I think it was my freshman, I don't know, so, pretty sure it was my freshman, not sure, don't quote me, fuck that, but, uh, <laughs> it was, but, I like, half the, the beginning of the year, I was going to school in Minneapolis, right, okay. going to make sure and shit, you know, going to you school, went to school in Minneapolis? Yeah, yeah, I, was, I lived in Minneapolis for a long time, um, but uh, cause you're Minnesota raised and born. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixed. But um, I went to school in Minneapolis, and um, you know, grew up in the hood, grew up on fucking Thirty Six and Elliot. You know, grew up right that smack dab in the middle of the hood, and you got the hood fashion. I'm talking about. I go up to the fucking corner store. I buy my jeans. I buy my fucking shirts. I get a fucking pair of forces, all from the corner store. But you know, I'm wearing like. Coogee, I'm wearing like, you know, fucking hood shit. I'm talking about, you know, every black person had like a t shirt with fucking like a hood SpongeBob or a hood fucking Bugs Bunny. Do so, you remember those shits? No, because what I was about to ask you, can I say tall tees? Do you know what I'm talking about? That's just a long one. That's just a long one. But were you wearing them? Huh? Were you kind of not really? Because I, I was, up, I was when I grew up, it was a tall I tea was. era. I don't know why, but it was about fresh in my white tea, the yeah. franchise boys in and, middle school. And, and in middle that. school, because, I like, was. I had tall but, tees for days, bro. Tall tees and fucking uh, what was I wearing? Paco jeans. Yeah, Paco. Yeah, yeah. In middle school, yeah. and Jinkos. I Jinkos, Jinkos and Pacos. Yeah. Yep. In middle school, I was, but by the time I like got into eighth grade, ninth grade, it was like I'm a jerk. You know, so, yeah, more fresh fitted, so like Soldier Boy. No, Soldier Boy was baggy. Oh, that was tall tees and baggy. Uh, more like I'm a jerk. Um, oh, that's Baby Huey. No, that was that's. Dang, hold on, I'm be old. quiet. Hold on, let me I'm let me old. say. Dude, You're I'm a old. jerk. That's um New jerk. Boys. You're a jerk. I don't even know. Who You're a jerk. That. I know. You're hey, a jerk. I'm, this is the New Boys. Okay. That's, yeah, that's I, the, I didn't even know the That's when that's when skinny jeans came in. Okay. Right, but I was I was a big yeah I was I was a bigger kid. So, you know, I couldn't really fit skinny jeans. You know, I tried them on one time at Macy's. Yeah. And my grandma was like, I'll slap you in your face if you ever try to put something like that on. Right. And I was like, I know, grandma, my fucking balls hurt. And she's like, yeah, go take them off. And I was like, hold on. You sure they don't look right? <laughs> These are what all the kids are wearing at my school. I got to have this. <laughs> and my you grandma, don't even know if my, my street level is going to go from here to here. <laughs> right. And my grandma was like, no. Get the no. fuck out of those jeans, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, you know what, Grandma? I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really agree with you often, but yeah, you're right, you're right. I don't want to wear these. Yeah, I can't breathe. I can't fucking. I breathe. can't fucking breathe. But um, <laughs> so I had like the hood, you know, the fucking. So you never seen t-shirts like with 
fucking it would be like SpongeBob. Well, no, I seen it. Was like you know. Yeah, be like, I, I, I've seen it, but like I said, that's before. Yeah. that was after me. Yeah, it was, was like after, shit was, like that. By then, I was wearing you know this mm-hmm. shit. It was like shit like that. So I was uh, I had a lot of that, and I fucking transferred. I went to my grandma's house. You know, I fucking, I went back, you know, half, you know, I was trying to live with, I was, my grandma was like, we can maybe live with your mom. You go for half the year over there, then you're going to come back, you know, live half the year over here and we'll figure it out after that. So, you know, I came back and I was going to a, a fucking school out in Oakdale, fucking the birds. And I remember I was like these, I went to school with all my homies, you know, like my, my kids, my fucking friends I grew up with. They all went to this school. So right. it's, you know, I've been to, tar- you know, I've gone to some football games and shit. You know, we played against each other type shit. Yeah, that's your, that's your squad. That's exactly. Your school, right. And so, uh, you know, I fucking, I was going to come. My plan in my head, in my head, this is, the, I'm going to give you my story. In my head, what was going to happen was it was, I was coming back the week of uh, homecoming, prep rally. Ooh, prep rally. Yep. And, fresh fitted. And, you gotta uh, have a fresh fit. For yeah, rally. and so I had a fresh fit, bro. I had a fresh. Fit. I had some. Uh, I had some True Religion jeans. They True were. Religion? They oh, were probably. Man. They were probably a size or two too big. Okay. Right. So you know, kind of the the bigger, bit the baggier. bigger, the baggier hood style. You know, you know, motherfuckers in hoods ain't wearing. You but know, they're still True Religion. Yeah, they. But you know, I can fit. A couple thousand in my fucking left and right pockets in a gun type shit. But, uh, and then I had a Fuji polo on. So it was a white Fuji polo. And you know the Fuji pattern? Mm-hmm. That was the collar. Okay. The Fuji pattern was the collar, right? And the inside of the little shirt where the button was, was the Fuji pattern. And then on the buttons, it was a C and then a G. Like, there's a big C was the top button and the G was the bottom button, right? Cold as hell. Fresh. And it was gold. There was, there was gold. Fresh. Fresh. Black and gold. Fresh. And then I had the Fuji symbol. That shit was dope. And then I had a fucking, uh, uh, like a, like Tiger or something on my back. You know, something like Ed Hardy. Some Fresh. Ed Hardy shit yeah. on my back. But it was an all white shirt and then that on the back. Fresh pants. And then I had some, uh, some fucking, what were they? They were, uh, I think six rings. Some Jordans. Right, but you know everything's a little. You know, I I should be wearing a large. I'm wearing a two X type shit. A little too baggy. You know, not not too baggy. Like if I was, if I'd be to go to fucking Minneapolis, you know, go to my mom's house and walk down the street, I'm either getting jumped for my clothes or I'm getting a bitch's number, type shit. And so you know, I'm like, all right, what I'm gonna do is, my grandma said I don't have to go to school that day, but if I want, she dropped me off. Woo woo, she don't work. I'm like, all right. Grandma dropped me off an hour, you know, or like 30 minutes before prep rally. Right. You know, so I'm I'm not supposed to be in the building, but, I, you know, I don't start school until the day after a prep rally type shit. But, but I'm there. Done. Yeah. You know, I'm there to be there. Yeah. And I'm like, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come, woo, woo, woo. I'm going to come a little late. You know, I'm going to come in smelling a little bit like weed, you know, fucking. Little cologne. You know, little, little Ralph cologne. Lauren. You know, little Ralph, Ralph Red. You know, yeah. come in and I'm going to be stunned, right? And I'm going to go sit with the homies, go chop up on some of those white bitches, woo, 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 blah, blah, blah. Stunned and chopping. Yeah. And so uh, I fucking, you know, class gets let out. It's fucking prep rally time. You know, you see all the fucking football players going and shit. And I'm like, all right, give me 20 minutes. I'm going to go up. See that? You know, I fucking, a little bit of time goes up. Fucking the whole shit's full, you know. It's full of gym now and I come. And I'm like, all right, what's going on? I go around, I go to the door, and I'm like, yo, what's popping? And everyone's like, oh, shit, Ace, what's up? Well, what the fuck are you wearing, bro? And I'm like, what you mean, bro? Fuck y'all. You know, I start roasting. Fresh. You know, we start roasting, and I start roasting back and forth, fresh as hell, fresh as hell. And then I go sit over by the niggas. <laughs> and they're like, what's popping, boy? Okay, I see you. You know, I'm trying to get like you. You're looking fresh, but what the fuck you doing wearing that here? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. You know, I'm looking around, and it's a lot of uh, real fitted polos and moccasins around this bitch. You know, it's real uh, board shorty in this real, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, you know, thirty a gram, 
you know, some Hollister and fucking Abercrombie and Fitch. And they're like, yeah, bro, you fresh, but don't wear that shit here no more. You look goofy as hell, bro. And I'm like, that's that fashion game. And, and the I'm things like, you need to know when you're okay. black. All right. How to I dress. See. I see. Okay. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Put the shit away. You know, I was like, damn, I got to go shopping. I was like, why? Because it's an example. I don't like black clothes. I need to blend in a little bit more. I need to blend in a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. a lot of, that's what a lot of people miss is the fit. Right. And then I fucking brought the same fit to the hood. Like, Three, four weeks later, on ME, MAE break, fucking killed it. Fucking the hood was like, oh, what up, nigga? Damn, look at you. Okay, you go out there with the white folks and you get you a little, well, you spoiled now, huh? You spoiled now. You know, I'm in the fucking house, like, you, you know me. Really, you know me. I'm, in, I'm on the couch, like, what's popping, nigga? No crease. <laughs> no crease. Another thing you about. need to know if you're black? Cannot you better shoes. waddle. You better fucking waddle. You gotta learn to walk. Yeah. You gotta learn to walk. That Air Force One walk. Exactly. Shit. Two, two stepping with my J's on. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know. Well, fuck, man. You know, I don't want to keep you long. It's getting a little bit late. I gotta go back to the kid. Yeah. Try not to get yelled at. You know yeah. me. Try to go to sleep every night happy. That's one thing to a happy relationship. Yeah. Don't go to sleep angry. Well, yeah, uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, this is day Shout one, day two Grind. of uh, February, Black History Month. We had to keep it real. Shout out to, uh, you know, our African-American roots, how this country was made. If you don't know, now you know. If you do not know, still do your research because this country was built on the backs of black it, slaves it as well as other minority slaves. Yep. Like, let's keep it real. Um, the other thing you guys need to know is that we got more content coming through. We're going to have some more interviews going on. We got some celebrities in Minnesota coming through. We yeah. had B-Money on last podcast. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Izzy does it. Um, so, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to do something big in Minnesota. I'm not from here, but I live here. I'm here now. I'm a resident. I'm stuck. You know, I got kids, I got a family, I'm not going nowhere. So we're going to be here for the long term, yeah. long haul. Uh, so, you know, respect your people, respect your neighbors, your relatives, you know, respect everybody. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're going through a crazy time in this country. You know, do what you can to educate yourself and be prepared. Uh, don't, don't just follow the mainstream. Don't just follow the hype. Do your research. And, and, and please, you know, like and subscribe. If you got comments or advice or things you want to see on the next podcast, yeah. next channels, Just we'll, let definitely, us know. We'll, we'll respect definitely that. Look. We'll check out the comments. Yeah. So far. We need the advice. We you need know, to learn how to get better. You know, we keep recommending that. We haven't seen nothing yet. But if you do comment, we will respond. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, new interviews coming with, with Jackal Grinds. It's going to yeah. be Grayson Rand fam. We're going to interview him. Shout out to him. Build big that. trucks if you like to build cars, boost and mechanics, uh, turbos, uh, big dumb trucks with horsepower. We got them coming. Um, Izzy does. It's like got a lot of new gear. artists, local yeah. to Minnesota. We got a couple artists on the you know, you know on the slate for the interviews. We got Taste Supreme. You know he's a big one. A lot of people are liking his vibe and his you know the pressure he's applying to the Who streets lately. Taste Supreme. He's a really good rapper. He's out of Minnesota. You know, okay. Minnesota born. And if you don't know, go listen to his music. Shout out Tay. He's a great rapper. When you talk about yeah. wanting to get hype, wanting to get fucking, get the crowd going, get, you know, pump the streets and shit, that's what you need to listen to. And he got some new music dropping constantly. Okay. That's one thing I love about him. It's not like, you know, you hear from a rapper once every year. It's like, yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you dropped some, but I would love you to drop more. Nah, he's like, he's working. He's working. I'm talking about you hear shit from him every two weeks, new music, new videos, right. anything new, and he's fucking doing everything from pop up shops to fucking modeling to. So he's grinding, like yeah, he's putting he's, grinding. he's putting Minnesota on the map. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying hard as fuck. <clears throat> so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put Minnesota on the map. Mm-hmm. We're trying to get artists in 
uh, people who are from Minnesota, who yeah. know Minnesota, who are about Minnesota. Let's let's ramp it up. I'm not from here, but I'm here now. Exactly. You know, type thing. Um, so let's do that. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next time. Yep, it's we got y'all. Real. Peace. Later. Catch us House of Kings. Catch us Jack of Grimes. Bear Grylls can rise. What up?